from the same vein, get to that hook, guy gets his head the same size as my other hook. I control the wrist. I'm gonna go drag, but this time, instead of trying to go pull it all the way across my body and get the angle, I'm just gonna go drag so that I get my head on the opposite side of his elbow, and then I'm gonna drop my hands and go into a double leg. So I'm in this hook here. As I go drag, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go release my hook. I'm gonna go drag, but I'm gonna stop pulling pretty much right when I see his elbow get inside of his leg. Once his elbow gets inside of his leg, I'm gonna drop my level, and I'm gonna try to put my shoulder in his elbow. So I'm gonna try to drop, get my shoulder in his elbow. Now, I'm gonna just drop it, I'm gonna do it. a bunch of different ways. I like to lock my hands. Sometimes you might have to snake the legs, or just go traditional double leg, double leg where I grab the hamstrings. I'm gonna drive through, finish, traditional double leg. This was my dad's favorite technique. He would hit it on everybody. And he was, it was a high school room, but it was really, really impressive because it just didn't matter. Anywhere he was, he was just looking around, drag And he would just pop up. It was crazy. It was awesome. But the subtleties of watching where this elbow goes, and as I watch where this elbow goes, dropping my level so that my shoulder gets inside his elbow. If I try to shoot a double leg when I'm up in his shoulder here, I'm gonna get stopped. I gotta drop my shoulder down his own. I gotta level change here. Level change here. Now once I'm here, it's just traditional penetration step, score that kick down. From the opposite side, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop my hand, go to arm drag, I'm gonna step in like I would a normal double leg. As soon as this arm gets in front of his leg, I lower my level, drop my butt down, so that my shoulder can slide into his elbow. Once I slide into his elbow, I'm gonna shoot my double leg, and I'm trying to get my chest up, my hips in. Yeah. Chest up, hips in, to secure that take down. This is, again, blending all of our techniques together. How can I use it to threaten this guy, to keep him guessing. If I go arm drag, and I'm able to get to my double leg right away, great. If I think he's gonna, if I think he's gonna drop his hands and go into a front headlock, I run to the corner, grab hamstring. But there's a lot of things that blend very nicely together so long as I allow the techniques to develop. If I know where I'm gonna go, I do this, he does this. I do this, he does this. I can blend them all together and start scoring a lot of different ways and simply from using my